I'm back. Welcome to episode 9 of our Extreme Declutter series. Today we are tackling this overwhelming playroom. Y'all, I have been avoiding this room for months. Right now, our kids are away at Grandma and Grandpa's house and they are going to be gone for about five days and we're gonna get rid of as much as possible in that five days. For the most part, Steven and I know what they play with and they do not play with all this stuff. You're probably asking, Shannon, how did this get this bad? It's not normally this bad. We've had a lot of changes and rearranging going on. When I did the girls room, I made sure to take out all the toys in there and we really wanted to dedicate this room to a playroom. But also, I develop an emotional attachment to my children's toys because there's wonderful memories attached to them. Today, we are gonna break through the struggle, get this room decluttered. We are going to purge like we've never purged before and we are gonna create a space where where my kids can play because this is not a place where imagination flows. This is not fun to play in. I think the most challenging part about the toy room is sorting through all the little pieces. In the past, I've dumped everything into the center of the room, which is okay, but I think by taking it bin by bin, it made it a little bit more manageable and a le little less overwhelming. Okay, I wanted to do a quick progress shot. So phase one, which was just getting everything kind of picked up off the floor and sorted. But now we're going to begin the process of going through and getting rid of stuff. Starting with this zoo stuffed animal bin. The things that we're not sure are important, we're actually going to set aside in trash bags and bins and put them in the attic and see if they ask for them. If they don't ask for them, then they're gone. We'll say if they don't ask for them in the next three months, they're gone. Because there are some things as I'm cleaning that I am unsure about and especially stuffed animals because they love their stuffed animals. Hi, Steven. For a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my face, all that ever was is a That look when your husband brings home a giant dog for Valentine's Day. And of course, it's our favorite. Just kidding. I love that he loves them big. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to Today. 
we decided we needed to tighten up the strings because it's a lot of little stuffed animals. Does anyone else's child have an unusual obsession with stuffed animals? My kids love their stuffed animals. A lot of y'all said that we should move the stuffed animal zoo and mm -mm. that was their idea because they can't have every single stuffed animal in their bed. So the compromise was to put the zoo in the middle of the bed so that all their little stuffed friends could be near them when they sleep. So. I can't move it. But thank y'all for the suggestion. I have been reading the suggestions and keep them coming. been stuck in this place not knowing what to do should I go through it should I just use my best judgment the kids are actually going to be back today from their grandma and grandpa's house as much as I wanted to have this done for them so that they could just come in and play and be shocked and awed I think I'm gonna need the girls help on their toys the big girls bounced from grandparent to grandparent kind of like our spring break and so They've been gone for a week and a half. Eric's just been gone for five days. So I'm very excited to see them. What do you think about your pl your playroom? I'm hungry and we got some food. Okay. So excited. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go through all these bins. I need somebody on the Barbie section and I need you to sort through. And then I need somebody on the baby doll section. They had so many Barbies in this basket, I limited them to one drawer of Barbies. Y'all did a very good job getting rid of a lot. Y'all made some good hard decisions. Thank you so much. Got, like these are the Barbie accessories and food supplies. These are like the LL legs. These are the. This is the food. The Shopkins. We just put the Shopkins in here because these are the food Shopkins that we use for food. Then here's the shoes. All right. Where's our giveaway pile? Um, I just put in the giveaway bucket. All right. Show it to me, Grace. Are y'all making hard decisions? Yeah, look at all the Barbies in here. Nice! Eric, what are you working on? Put the balloons away. Okay, go put the balloon away. Originally, I didn't want the kids in here at all because in the past, when I've asked them to get rid of stuff, it was like pulling teeth. But I'm so glad that they were involved because now they have some skin in the game. My grandma, for whatever reason, she bought these. I don't know. I can't remember if she bought them for her house. And then when she passed, we each kind of took them or what. But she was so random like that. Anyway, we've gotten a lot of love out of this. And unfortunately, with three kids, it just... It's time, it's time to say goodbye. Without the little circles in it, it shines like a really bright light. So maybe I'll replace it whenever I come across another one in the future. But gotta say goodbye. We're gonna give it one last play. Okay, I'll turn off the lights, guys. There's no time to borrow. What do you think, Eric? <laughs> we got the party light going just for you. Look, it's casting a shadow of the dinosaur on the wall. Turn it back on, Billy. Okay, turn it back on.
Okay. <laughs> I guess we're giving that one away. <laughs> okay, he does it right now. All right, party time. Can you see me? <laughs> Every once no, in a while, you'll see like a really bright light. Eric, stop. Eric, stop. Anyway, we've decided we're gonna keep it. <laughs> we're gonna give it one last hurrah. As Marie Kondo would say, if it sparks joy, you can keep it. Kids have been a huge help. So get your kids involved because I've been really impressed with the decisions that they've been making. They've been making some hard decisions. They really know what they play with and what they don't. We've been able to toss a lot. So I'm really glad that I waited for them to do that because I, I was like a deer in the headlights. I was just staring at it. I had no idea what to do. So anyway, tomorrow hopefully is the last day. See you then. What's left of Mrs. Potato Head. We were never able to find the body. trying to determine if my OCD or not is going to get the best of me with the size letterings. Ugh. I wish I would have caught that before I put all the labels on. This is a toy room, Shannon. Nobody's gonna care that the labels are different. It's okay. I'm counting hours, minutes, seconds, faster, hurry, make it happen. Before we know it, I'll be on my way home. We're chilling, I just you and I Every crazy summer night Baby, I am coming home I'm coming home Longing for you, pick up the phone Catching the flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Just when you thought you were finished. Yeah. My recommendation for you is when you think you're finished, 
Do not move furniture. Think, think again. Don't move furniture. Just don't do it. We also had to bring in the Mac Daddy vacuum cleaner because the cordless, something's wrong with it. I'm so sad. from this experience locks on all the rooms <laughs> locks on the playroom <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nobody's allowed to play in here <laughs> no fun <laughs> oh man I think, no, I think they'll have a lot more fun um, in the clean one thing that I found was I didn't give the kids as much credit as I should had and should have in the beginning because as far <coughs> as Excuse me. Coronavirus. I'm sorry. As far as getting rid of stuff, they probably did better than I did. They were a lot tougher. They even had extra bins back there. So I thought that was pretty cool. One thing we've noticed is no matter how hard we try it, I think they don't stop coming, you know? Yeah. From a grandparent, from a friend, from whoever. Both grandparents. It's, it's just uh, impossible i mean they get better but it's impossible to cut that off 100 percent. so yeah we need to have space for the new things i guess yes i'm curious to see how long it lasts i am so glad it's done i, I want to say we got rid of about six or seven trash bags we threw away a lot more than we gave away and then about two big boxes which we've already taken we've taken out some of the trash because this this whole process has taken over a week, almost two weeks. So we've just kind of been coming in here an hour or two a day, give or take. And we've, we've taken a couple of days off, but this was a process. So some of our trash has already gone out. And I'm gonna show you next week's video because it is kind of related to this video. So I'm gonna show that to you now. On next week's episode, <laughs> We're tackling kind of these spaces. This, we did take a lot of this stuff out of the playroom, which is why I said this room was kind of related to that one. And all the other rooms when I was decluttering, I tried really, really, really hard not to just take the stuff and shift it from room to room. However, it did happen a little bit. This, obviously the playroom, I feel like was really unavoidable and that's okay. You know, we're gonna check in with it next week. When we've been working these jobs, if it doesn't have a home, it goes. And that worked about 85% of the time. So if there's like 15% of the stuff that I've decluttered that I don't wanna get rid of that also do not have a home. So we need to tackle that and get rid of that stuff and or find a home for it. We're gonna move these games downstairs and then we're gonna tackle the wall of linens. Sometimes I shock myself. So anyway, we're going to tackle that too as well. So be sure to tune in next week. Hit that subscribe button and come back and watch me work through this.
The snap is not working. Maybe it will next week.